hello viewers welcome to my channel here in this video i will quickly show everyone on how to use the mobile topographer to conduct a simple survey so here is the interface of the mobile topographer if you are a first timer you need to do one or two settings before you can continue and this is what you will not see in many of the videos online so the first thing to do on your mobile topographer is to click on this icon above so this icon here you are going to see geodetic reference system you click on that so this is the reference systems of different parts of the world so you need to set it up to a reference system where you are about to conduct and carry out your survey so i'm in nigeria and i'm just going to set it up to mina zone 31 so you scroll down you are going to see different reference system and um, when you get to mina you are going to see this set of mina so you, this is mina 2008 mtm east belt this is for the uh, local origin that is the nno that is actually the nigeria national origin all right so you will see that of the east belt mid belt west belt so therefore if you are interested to take your observations on this local origin you can check on any of this origin of interest however the one i'm interested in in the course of this video is the mena 2008 utm you can see slash z31 to z33 that actually stands for zone 31 to 33 which nigeria is falling under the belt all right so you click on that so when you click on that there's nothing to do on any of the settings then the next thing is to swipe back you can click on the arrow above to go back all right so there i have shown you on how to do the first important thing on the mobile topographer app then the next thing is to carry out your survey by clicking on survey so when you click on survey so as a first time man, you should take note that your android device location must be turned on before this app can work all right so you swipe down then you click on the location if your location on your mobile device is turned off you click on it to turn it on all right then you swipe up then you're automatically going to see the current reading showing tracked satellites all right before now these current readings were not showing therefore if you check on this globe icon you can see wgs 84 there that is the default settings the satellite gives its coordinates on all satellites gives their readings on the wgs 84 so you click on it to show your results on the setup you have done initially so my setup is actually showing now MENA UTM 2008. All right, then you can see the current reading showing some sets of coordinates in Easties and Mountains with the Z elevation above the ellipsoid. Then you can see my zone, zone 31. That is where I am. All right, so for you to take your observations, now you can now move to the first point of your corner piece. So if you want to conduct your survey, you're expected to stay on the corner piece the edge or the boundary line of your interest all right so when you are there please a disclaimer the mobile topographer gives accuracy between one to two meters all right so it is only good for recognizance survey please take note of that recognizance survey this app is really good for that so when you are on the point you want to observe you will now click on start accurate positioning so you are going to see the accurate positioning giving you some set of coordinates then you are going to see things that is of interest accuracy so currently the accuracy is dropping 0.65 to 64 and so on and so forth so based on how you can stay you can actually let it to be less than 0.2 or 0.3 if you want better results so make sure you are not moving why you want to obtain this accurate position you just need to stand on that particular corner edge or whatsoever feature you want to obtain the coordinates so guys for the sake of this particular video i'm going to leave it at 0 0.40 so i'm just going to wait up to that all right so that i can be fast with the video
therefore it is 0 0.4 then you click on the red stop accurate position so you can see accurate positioning stops then you click on this icon of plus this is where you have to id the coordinate you just picked so i'm just going to call this pt1 that is my first point and you click on the check icon so when you are done with this first point you go to the next point all right then you can move to the next point of interest when you get there you click on the start accurate position then you see the accuracy as well dropping so you make sure it drops to the other accuracy of the previous point which is 0 0.4 in my case then here i'm going to click on the stop accurate position then that is how you are going to do for the rest of the points that you are having so this point i am now is my last point so i have actually fast forward then i'm going to stop accurate position here remember you click on the plus icon to label so this is going to be pt4 then you click on ok therefore when you are done taking your observations make sure when you observe you click on the plus icon in order for you to be able to save your points if you didn't click on this plus icon after observing your data will not be saved right so when you are done observing to see the list of the points you've observed you click on this list icon here you click on that so you are going to see the list of the points so you can see my points pt1 to pt4 these are the set of points i have recently observed with the mobile topographer so you can do one or two things that is to check the area of this point by clicking on this polygon icon here so you can see my area because it's a very small area it is 2.709 meters square that is the area so you can check your area on site with this app all right then you can also check the uh, area view of this point by turning on the mobile data on your phone then you click on this icon here on google map so guys that's just it so do not mind the joining of the point i actually picked it just randomly all right so if you are observing yours just pick it the way you are supposed to pick and you are going to see the area of your point at their respective positions all right so that is how to see it directly on google map so lastly on this video i will show you on how to export so if you want to export your data you click on this export icon here so you are going to see different format that you can export your data so csv is the excel format txt is the notepad format kml is google Earth format then .dsf is autocad format so any format you are interested in you can choose to click on that then rename so in the course of this video i will use .csv uh, excel format then you can come here to rename your uh, jobs so i'm just going to call this uh, mb1 all right then click on ok so you are going to see the path where you have the uh, data stored all right so to go there to that part just minimize then go to your files on your mobile phone then go to storage the internal storage scroll to the mobile topographer folder go to point files so your point files you can now see this data i have here so you can see mb1 csv so you can choose to open it if you have wps app on your phone or you send it to your uh, pc for plotting therefore guys you can see it the point data point one to point four on latitude and longitude so if you swipe down you are going to see it eastings and northings then the z elevations so any information you need you can just go ahead and plot with it but the best one is the projected eastings northings and that is how to use mobile topographer to conduct service easily if you find this video helpful 
and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting first and valuable tutorial freely thank you see you in the next video